Hello everybody, it's me. Welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, listen, when I tell you, I think I have cooked and it, 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 it's, it's kind, of, it's kind of crazy. So today I'm going to be taking a peek at Juna Pyro. And with the most recent uh, season one balance patch, we had gotten some nice Juna Pyro buffs where it has gone to quick thinking, which if you don't know what quick thinking is, it is essentially a support move that will boost your speed and your magical attack by one stage, essentially making you faster and to do extra damage, which is honestly really, really strong. I think you would always want setup moves. And honestly, I think, I'm just saying, I may, I may have cooked. I, I may have cooked. But here, we have Magical Attack and Speed with Trait Resolve. When this doodle stats are lowered by an opponent, greatly boosts this doodle's magical attack. And we also have Use Crayon just so we can heal a bit more. And I think that Junipyro is really good into Fruitoad. Because if Fruitoad tries to come in and um, lower your magical attack stat after you set up with Quick Thinking, you will instead greatly boost your magical attack which if it works how it will lower your attack and then boost it you're essentially just getting a plus one from that and not a plus two but even then any damage boost is greatly appreciated then with the moves we have quick thinking forest fire life sap and then climate shot now look this is where i think i have cooked so quick thinking obviously we boost our magical attack and speed and then we have forest fire which is double damage to plant types then we have Life Zap, which just restores us for half our HP, which is again where I think you could probably replace Use Crayons, but Juniper Power does not have the worst bulk in the game, and I feel like you'd want to have that extra longevity to live and possibly survive priority moves. Now, this is where it all comes in. The Climate Shot. Now, look. The last move slot could be Scapegoat, it can be Feral Fury, it can be anything you want it to be. But I think that this is funny, because if you look at our moves here, we have Fire, Grass, right? And we are one coverage move away from it technically being like Pokemon stars where there's a fire, water, and a grass type. So I decided to grab Remy, who is able to easily set up um, rain, right? And I thought it'd be really cool to try something that you would not traditionally see on rain because it sounds like it could be a threat, right? Because you have the climate shot and you're only walled by most fire types. So you can hit those said fire types with climate shot now you might be worried about oh crap what if i need to hit something really hard under rain but i only have forest fire right like a metal type for example i think you're just gonna have to live with that but i think the fun part about this is if a jira comes in thinking that they're safe you have forest fire which is double damage so if you're at plus one <coughs> you'd be doing re reduced damage but technically that reduced damage is overlapped by the double damage from forest fire so it ends up evening out in the end so it's kind of nice into plant types but if you want to use this thing not on range just replace climate shot for like scapegoat feral fury gem blast whichever one you want to use i think scapegoat is probably the best option you can just scapegoat and then quick thinking and if something comes in to try to lower your stats you just boost them anyway but yeah and with equipments i got glemish cap dark brooch and fluffy feather i didn't really know the best equipment combination to give myself stuff you could also go with um rock candy if you want to which can boost your defenses a bit more and make you slightly bulgier um but i liked dark brooch i think you could just run rock candy but with glemish cap rock candy you get some nice health and good magical attack and then fluffy feather is really where this comes in basically what this does whew, it'll give you enough speed outspeed everything in the game besides libelagua you unfortunately don't get to the 140 speed threshold that i like to get to when i'm using something that can set up with plus one because you'd have to literally get three extra speed and to do that you could grab a helpful lantern but that you lose out on some bulk but if you do that you would actually get above the threshold that you would want which could end up working who knows you end up outspeeding pretty much everything and your stats end up being the same but yeah anyway with all that being said, let's see if this will really end up working out. Okay, and here we go into the first battle. This battle is honestly perfect for Junipyro because I can just click quick thinking once and hopefully beat down his entire team because we have forest fire, life sap, forest fire, um, forest fire, life sap, forest fire. So yeah, we don't even need to set up rain actually, which is kind of nice. Um, I'd like to set up pylons though what if i just led with it actually like what if i just led with it that'd be insane right let's do it what if i led with it 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> Never mind. Bye. Never mind. I'm leaving. So we definitely need to get rid of this thing if we want to end up doing good with Junipyro. Because our team is fairly weak to this thing. I know it's gonna have a it's gonna have feral fury, so we're probably gonna end up dying here. Well, if that did that much, and then we do double damage, and it, I take to about to where my eye is in my health. I guess I can hit and run then if I feral fury. I get a free hit and run either way. They could actually go into Nimbell and he could have airborne, which could be annoying. Oh. <laughs> Sick. Okay. That just one shot. <laughs> Dang, Pylon is not very good into his team. But I guess maybe it could maybe be useful. We're gonna find out. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Okay, they go into Fluppy? Well, I don't resist Aurora Flash anymore, so I guess this makes sense to an extent. Let me just set up Pylons then. Life Sap is fine. But wait, isn't this a really good Junipyro switch? Isn't this just a really good switch for Juni anyway? Because, okay, I don't know. What speed is Cryoterra A again? 130? I don't think 214 actually outspeeds him. Let's see. Uh, if you're running it as fast as you can, I always Pale Sun Bonnet, Sandstone Necklace. Neighbor chat fly the speed increase it has 220 speed but it wouldn't be max speed for how much damage it did to umai show so i think i just i just quick thinking here i think oh not very good for him here huge so we got a quick thinking off of juni and fun fact this thing was originally nerfed it actually did get a nerf uh, because before people were using uh, scapegoat with, uh, I think it was TFK using scapegoat, and I'm just gonna get all my health back there, so this really doesn't matter. It all comes down to is this cryo tower running the maximum possible speed that it can be, or is it a bit slower? Because this is gonna be like a very hyper specific scenario where I get outsped by cryo Terra. But with the damage it did to my show, I don't think it's max speed. That did 29. And actually, I could just figure it out immediately. So we have a forest fire for this thing, and it really can't hit us at all because our defensive typing is not horrible, actually. What I can check real quick. Um, okay, let's go and check uh, Umai Show. Let's just boost our magical defense to be 115 into a snap freeze. It does 35. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I need my health to be 31. Oh, wait. Am I doing this wrong? That did, like, very low damage. Like, I don't know. Maybe. I think I just first, I like, forest fire, though, just so I can take this thing down. Nearly taking it down. Hyper voice comes out. That is okay. Because we can just life sap to get a little bit of our health back. I think they're just trying to get us low for Fluffy, but it doesn't really matter. It's life sap. I think you have 214 offenses with this thing up right now. I don't actually know if that this is max speed cryo terror at this point. If it is, then we're not in a very super spot, right? We're not in a, the best spot. I think that's max speed. Okay, this is max speed. We're definitely dead here. Unfortunately, we're definitely dead. It was five star. <laughs> Maybe it was five star. All right, we chilling then. We're all good. Five star, you still do not speed it. Four star, you do not speed it. It would have had to have been three star max speed. Maybe it just wasn't max speed. There's always a chance of it not being max speed. But hey, I think we can just win a Mewtwo Juna Pyro. This is what I love about quick thinking users. And this specific gimmick is nice because even if they decided like, oh wait, I can I can go switch into my... um. I have to switch into my fire type to wall you. If I had rain up, they can't do that because I would have climate shot as an option. That's what I kind of like about this specific gimmick. But even then, I don't need rain to be set up for this to work. 
I think with this, we end this off with a life sap. And we just get all of our health back. Kaboom. Do we win? Bam. Aw. Little sad, but hey. <clears throat> Toughen. Remember when Nimble was broken? When it first came out, you could just like, Lewis Prayer, Toughen, Lewis Prayer, Toughen, and then Blessed Blade. It was a 140 base power stab with 120, uh, with plus two. It was just crazy. The scalings of Blessed Blade are insane, dude. How much it scales is just crazy. But yeah, that's a GG. Good game. Clean sweep with Juni. Okay, and here we go into the next one. What I find kind of cool about Junipyro is how well it could work on weather teams. Like, look here. What if I had toxic type climate shot, right? I could beat the owl, one shot it, Zerzura, one shot it. And I just do generally pretty good all around. If I was on sand, I could one shot this, one shot this. I think that is Kibara. So dealing with Kibara is going to be a little bit annoying. I think this game is a game where I can set up rain to get my water type climate shot off. But it doesn't really do that much. Like... I don't really know what I do, because I can forest fire spam pretty well. But I think I want to try to get my thing off. Oh, that's a Morveil? <clears throat> I did not know that was a Morveil. <laughs> like, have fun. He gets an attack boost. So here, let's go ahead and awaken, and we're going to pylons. And then we can try to go into Gomut, which can have an absolutely insane crunch. If he gets his B summon off, I get my pylons off, which actually hits Zerzura and Owl really hard, which is also really good for weakening down the Owl, which ends up working out very well for Zerzura as well. As they go... <laughs> cool name, bud. You're awesome. Love the names. Alright, let's go Juni. And this is also where we can use our forest fire, right? So they can go for a sleeping move here. They can also Siphon Soul. Generally, we're just going to hopefully get a Forest Fire off. I think we take a lot from Siphon, right? Life Stat comes out. That's fine. Quad Resisted, that still does a lot, though. So, we're, I'm a little bit irritated. Um, I could Quick Thinking, or I just Forest Fire twice. I guess I just Forest Fire, right? Like, why not? They can go into Zerzura. They have Detox. So, maybe if I was... Force fire comes out. So he takes a guaranteed 20% every time this guy switches in. So I think in the end, this is going to be fine. I think I definitely go Umaisho, though. Umaisho is really good into Zerzura. Also, Voltatu is really good into this, but the rain is up, so I definitely want to go Umaisho to you. So this is also another thing. Umaisho I like on rain because it's able to stop other things that want to abuse rain, right? Like, if I get into an unfortunate situation where I can't abuse rain, and but they can, I can go into a Maisho. I think the only scenario where that doesn't end up working out the way you want it to is if you're fighting a Gyrona or a Gomut. Let's hit and run here. They like to switch immediately. Okay, this is... They have Guardian up. Can I not go into Gomut with Tidal Slam? I can also go Voltatu, which can hit and run. Right? I think it's up being pretty decent for me. I think Rain should still be up though, and Tidal Sam is really freaking strong. Ah, oh, that is kind of unfortunate that had to happen. Let's go into Zapdos then. Because they shifting winds, get rid of my pylons. That's okay, because I can go straight back into it because they can't really threaten my my guy. Foreign substance just to Okay, interesting. So he takes extra damage here, which is nice. Let's go into Volt Enchant. Set up our rain. As well as going back for a Pylons. And then I think Morveil A is what I'm generally worried about this game. Because I can't do a lot against it. My best way of beating it is definitely Gomut. Okay, this person likes to click the most obvious possible move. So we have to go off of that information. Okay, yeah, they, they, they just like to be obvious. So they, they we don't really have to think this battle. Yeah, they could Siphon Soul, though. Maybe Jira could be a bit better. But I can't really disarm at this point. I think also Umaisho works, and then I can get a hit and run off. I'm going to Umaisho because I'm, I'm actually kind of afraid of Siphon Soul coming out. 
this ends up being really good for me actually because i can just earthquake and if they go into zerzura or owl i end up getting a pivot off of them anyway and the owl's honestly pretty low so it would be stuck between does it want to heal or not so let me earthquake here he probably will not let me hit it this hard oh he does let me hit it nice i get a little little bit of chip there dispose they get rid of my pylons they got a lot of hazard control here man they do not like hazards huh really this team is just bulky and kind of annoying to fight they go into owl okay so now i can throw out my moves right i think savage blow will kill so i think i go for savage blow into goma I don't think Owl can take a Savage Blow. He could also Icy Bite, which is safer. But I think I just Savage Blow because I don't think there's any possibility that he takes it, even with Guardian. Yep, perfect. So we end up taking down that Owl, which this really opens up Pyar to go crazy in, the, in this endgame. Not really endgame. Okay, yeah, Digineco makes a lot of sense to come in here. He's definitely going to get a magical attack boost. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, they can boo now pretty freely. Yeah, they can just boo. I don't want to lose my show because it's good into Zerzura. I think you may might be able to take a few. I mean, he's gonna he has basically double my speed. Oh, it's specs. That's why that does so much. Yeah, there's no way that's not special. That's there's no way that's not enchanted ruby. So we're definitely gonna end up going down here. Okay, they have a Chronos in the back though. I think here I can go into this. Which now my Savage Blow is just insane. Pyara breaking through this annoying bulky team is great. Uh, the, the, beating the Gineco is what's going to be interesting because I don't really know how I'm going to do it. They can really only go Kronos after this dies. And I think after that, I get to go into Umaisho onto it because the rain is up, meaning that I am going to be neutral. Oh, wait, why? So they sack off more Veil A. Okay. They just let me get damage on Zerzur and sack. So they're gonna go Kronos here. No way they don't. Kronos just makes sense. We're straight into my show because this guy just likes to be obvious. He can Soul Fire as well, but I have the rain up. Crystal cut. Oh, physical Kronos? Interesting. Probably looking to see if I would have gone Voltatu there. So the rain is now down. I got my work in though. His team is generally pretty low. It's about beating the Gineco now, but I don't know if I can do that with ease. Uh, I know you have Soul Fire, so I'm probably going to end up dying here. Okay. So, I could go Juni and try to Quick Thinking setup, but he has Dark Blast. So, I think I just Life Sap it as, for as much damage as I can get, because I don't really know how exactly... Like, there's not a lot that I can do here with Juni. There's not a lot I can do with Juni. They go into Metacro. I mean... Does it matter if I hit it or not? Because then I can just go into Goma anyway. Right? And this is also like... I doubt Goma would actually outspeed this. I might actually have to hit it. Let's Life Sap again. I'm definitely dead to a Goo Blast. I don't think I win this. This game is very difficult to win. Like, I severely doubt I'm going to be able to win this because this team is just kind of annoying and bulky and too hard to beat. Okay, now he Goo Blasts. I actually took that super well. I do get poisoned, though. I doubt I can win this. There doesn't really seem to be a possibility. I need Gomut to one-shot Janeko with Rip Current. It could, because of how frail their Gineco mate might be. But then we had to go down to Jira Sarah into Boo, I guess. 
So we need Life Sap here. This is just a lot of damage they don't really want to tank. And if they go for a heal, I think we do more damage than they can heal. No, they do. We do relatively the same. And he also has Crayon's Recovery. So no, I can just spam Life Sap at this point. And if I crit, that's just, just nice. You know? I don't really know how we're going to end up beating the rest of his team, though. This is where Feral Fury would be nice, because then he can beat Dark types, right? Let me Life Sap. Yeah, he has to Goo Blast there, meaning he loses his Metacrow. But at this point, it's like, how do I exactly win? I have Ruby on my Gomut, so I know I can kill Kronos, and I might be able to kill Janeko. I don't know. So let me rip Current here. I want to guarantee I get a kill there. If they go into Zerzura, they're gonna gonna they're gonna 100 storm heal. Yeah, they're gonna storm heal. No way they don't. So let me go into this as quick as I can. Disarming them doesn't do anything. I could I can go Jira, which has chemical. Like at this point, I don't think I can beat the Janeko, right? It's just a game of can I beat Janeko? But I don't think I do. I don't think I ever can beat Janeko. It's just a game of, like, I'm dead, right? I can't beat the Janeko. Oh, my God. Can I paralyze it? That is not that good for them, isn't it? Can I save, dude? No. I don't think it's worth it. I think you would end up dying in the end, too. I can just do this. Okay. I think Jira is the play. And then I Hemlock. Okay. But now the question still remains of, can I actually win? I need Jira alive and I need Gomut alive, but if they go Kronos and Thunderstrike, right? Okay, so they know I can maybe take one with Goma. I don't think in general I could possibly win this game. Nothing is really going to help me win. So, I think at this point, I just Rusty Roots. I, I, there's not much I can do to win. Dark, Yeah, Dark Blast is just his best option. I can't win this. He has a Kronos. He had everything annoying. I, I could have abused Pyara more than I did. Yeah, I'm not, I'm barely, I'm barely scratching this thing. Unfortunate, but hey, at least you're able to take on the Metacro. I think I can go in, 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 in and say that I think partially that game, I can blame it on, um, I can blame it on the fact that I had a Kronos, because I really couldn't do anything against Kronos besides having my show, which just took too much early. Um, <clears throat> could they just set up rain for me? I'd be very happy if they did that, because, I mean, they also have Libel, which could end Tomo. But I think it's, if I do this, and no, they would totally, um, well, Tattoo is actually beautiful for me, because I can just set up Pylons now. Oh my god, Pylons on you is really annoying, huh? I mean, you're just going to hit and run, right? Pylons into you is really irritating. You do not want to deal with this. I could have also gone Junie. It's kind of annoying that we haven't seen any Fruitoads. I was hoping that I could see Fruitoad to possibly... Uh, lethal? Oh, Lethal is very interesting. So it looks like that's their Electric Immunity. And they can also go into Bolt Enchant. So they, they just have Water and Electric types, right? So... I don't really see why Junie isn't crazy in this battle. Like, Bolt Enchant can't really hit it that hard. I can just uh, Life Sap it. I, I, if I get 1 plus 1, I think I can just Life Sap into the Voltatu, I don't think I can do anything against it. So, he, he has the two electric types that do not have the cool move. I can go, honestly, what if I just win Junie now? What if I went to Junie now, right? I outspeed Libel. I have Pylons up. Hmm.
I don't know if I could actually beat this thing, though. This is where it kind of gets interesting, because I don't know if I can beat the this thing. They set up rain, which is nice, because it's going to help me in the, in the long way. In, in, the, in the long run, it'll probably help me out. Oh, we, we're actually, we're really chilling with that damage. Nice. Yeah, we're just vibing with that. He can't hit me with any, any moves that he really, really wants to hit me with. So, I guess this point I just feast. Yeah, they just want to try to kill me. I think I have to devour, though, at some point. I have to devour. Because stealing this thing's magical attack boost might get me enough health to survive. Let me just devour. Okay, they switch, and they go into Shark Bite. So, I get an okay amount of damage here. Savage Blow was a very obvious move for him to click. So, I guess I just play into his obvi obvious reality. That's not even a freaking word, but hey. Obvious reality. So, I guess I'll just go into Voltatu. You can Icy Bite here as your best option. Savage Blow is also a move that he can click. I would have Icy Bit if I was him, because there's no way my shoe's ever staying in. Critical Hit there is unfortunate. He does take chip though, and he lowers his defense as well. If I had hit and ran on Voltatu there, or Volt Enchant, I might have been okay. But yeah, I'm definitely going to end up dying to this thing this next turn. Savage Blow is free. Actually, no, they don't. They let me hit and run for free. They go into Cassandra, which is interesting. So he takes some good damage there. I can hit and run, and I can go into Volt Enchant myself. So, I think for this thing, I can awaken myself and I can Psycho Force. I think it, this thing is definitely their one of their two Reign of Users. Okay, they're lethal, so they, they're going to end up dying to this. So, this is really good. Bam. We kill that there. So, that is one of their good Reign of Users gone. I assume they go into Go Mutt. Dude, they can't go into Gomut anymore, actually. Since Pylons are up, they really can't go into Gomut. Yeah, that's not good for them, because every move that you have is contact, and you will die to one Specky Thorn Ship for my Voltatu. So I can go into Voltatu and sack it off. I don't need Voltatu anymore. It was pretty much useless only into the Gomut to get a little bit of Specky Thorn Ship, so we're honestly chilling with this. We can end up dying. <clears throat> so he dies. So both of his Storm Surge abusers are dead. So I low-key think that we go into Junie now. It's a really weird option into him having rain up, but I think it works in a really weird way. So here, they're gonna, it's, no, this is rain power actually. Could I quick thinking though? I'm gonna quick thinking. Let's see what happens. Oh shoot, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe maybe that was a bad idea. I guess at this point I can just spam my, my go mutt. My Gomut's alive, yours isn't. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <sighs> kind of sad that I ended up dying, though. But hey, it is what it is. Yeah, rain's still up, bud. Anything you have, I pretty much one shot. Besides maybe your Bolt Enchant. I think I still go for the hit, though. Because generally, I can beat the rest of his things. Maybe with Jira. No, you have Chilling, though. I guess I just hit it. Why not? Well, what's the worst that'll happen? I miss? I mean, I'm Ruby with Rain with 205 attack. I have a ridiculously high attack stat right now. Yeah. <clears throat> go, Mutt. All I do is go into Volt Enchant, then I win the game. I go Volt Enchant, set up my ring, go back into Pyara. This also is a good way to scout if he's Jolt, but he would never go for Jolt in this instance. I don't really see why he would be Jolt. I guess it's just me being paranoid. I guess if I'm still paranoid, I can go into Jira, which can chemical heat, which can get rid of the plus one, which then I can go for a free Rip Curl, which after that, he can just take chips with that, so I can go for Rip Curl again, which then if... I don't know. Let's go for chemical cleave, though. 
Ariel. This is just because I'm a little bit worried. He does crit me, though, which is I think does matter. So if he ends up actually being Jolt, I could end up losing. But I guess if I want to be uberly safe, I can just go into this. Right? I can just rip current. If I want to be uberly safe, I can just rip current. I mean, even if he has plus one, I can, with my show, maybe I beat it. Maybe he's flashbang. Is that why he switches in and out? Maybe he's flashbang. It doesn't make sense why he wouldn't be flashbang. <laughs> is he flashbang? No, he's not. Okay. And Goma one shots pretty much his entire team. Good game. Good, good game. You know, I'm kind of upset I didn't fight that many fire types, if any, at all. Because I was using a rain team that is specifically supposed to be do good with Juni, and it's able to abuse that. But it's kind of sad that I wasn't able to actually fulfill what I wanted to do. But I think still it did really, really well. Like, in the first battle, I was able to do really, really well. And I think that is what makes it super fun. But yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like and subscribe down below. It's very helpful. With all that being said, I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.